All right, let's do this, guys. It's been a while. Uh, specifically, it's been about a year and a half since I raced. This is the 2-3 category at the Janesville Criterium of Tour of America's Dairyland. Something interesting about this race that you might notice as uh, the, the race goes on is they combined the 2-3s with the 15-16 juniors and the 17-18 juniors, which made things kind of interesting. Uh, we had over 100 starters, and you can kind of see on this first lap that it is super stretched out already. I started pretty far up in the front here, and you can see that, but I quickly got kind of pushed back just because I wasn't used to the pace, honestly. You know, group rides and, and fast riding and all that can get you ready to race, but it doesn't compare to how fast a race actually starts. And having not raced for a full year, I got pushed back kind of far from the start. I, after getting pushed back, decided I just kind of wanted to try and float and stay in the draft and, and kind of see where things went. But one of the things that I quickly realized was just being that far back with a, a giant mix of ability levels was not a good idea. As the race went on, and as the video goes on, you'll notice that it was just full on locking up the brakes through the corners and then sprinting just like this out of every corner. And uh, that's a good way to get yourself dropped, especially if you're in the back. So I was constantly trying to float while also moving up through the field um, as much as I could, as much as I was able to after not racing for a year and a half. I felt pretty comfortable overall in the field. It was just getting used to racing again. So these two long stretches in the race made things pretty interesting because it would get mega strung out through these two long straightaways. Uh, you can see that I'm pretty far off some of the wheels here. And even still, uh, I if I don't kind of aim for the, the open holes and, and float up through the field, I'm going to be slamming on my brakes here. Something that I was still getting used to again was that feeling of being in a race. Those of you that have raced will know what I'm talking about, but it's just this, it's totally different. It just feels different. The efforts feel different. You can do the same efforts that you would do in a race as a training ride, and it will still not feel the same. And here's one of the first crashes. Uh, it just happened because guys are locking up their brakes through the corner and then they can't turn and carrying too much speed and guys just run into each other. So I was able to avoid that. Um, there's actually, I think, four crashes total in this race and I was able to miss all of them, which I'm pretty glad about because uh, I definitely didn't kind of want a repeat of the last time I went to Toad, which was in 2019. and. Uh, I got crashed out and broke my elbow. So you can see here, I'm still pretty far back in the group. And this is after trying to move up and trying to move through the field. Uh, but with over a hundred starters, you could move up through half the field and still only be, you know, 50 riders up. And so it feels like you did a lot of work and you moved up a lot, but you still have a lot of way to go before that. Here's another example of me trying to use those gaps that riders are leaving as we slow down through the corners to float and not have to sprint out of every corner. Just trying to flow around the course and flow with the group so that I'm using less energy than I would normally have to. Every time we came down this back straightaway, it was just full gas on it the whole way. And I would on this part of the course, for whatever reason, I was having a hard time figuring out where the draft was coming from. And you can see up ahead that the field is super stretched out. I'm still not even to the corner and the field is already going through the corner. And so here, as I come around this corner, I see that things are starting to get bunched up and exactly what I would think happen happens. There's a pile up. I managed not to get stuck behind it and I avoided it 
but it uh, it had me scared for a minute there. Afterwards, uh, my camera got bumped, so things are kind of hard to see here. But what you'll notice is the pit is in a super weird place. It's in that that last straightaway before the last corner, and kind of get pinched, kind of get back into the group. Uh, so I was able to get uh, to the pits, talk to them, and they gave me a free lap, and I hopped back in to the group here. You see I just missed that water bottle, which is crazy. There could have been another crash there uh, right after. This is the same lap almost, right? The field had gone down, I got to the pits, and as they were coming back around, I got back in. So it didn't even really get uh, a whole lap's rest. And so I, from this point on, my goal is to just finish with the group and uh, not get involved in any more of the crashes. I was really annoyed to see that the, the footage kind of got messed up because the camera got tilted. Uh, but, you know, just floating, trying to move up through the field, trying to finish with the field. Actually, on the last corner of the race, there was a pretty decent pile up. We were moving pretty quick, you know, taking the last two corners uh, real fast in the group. And as I'm coming through the second to last corner, I heard uh, some scraping and some banging and some shouting and luckily was able to avoid it. But there was a big old crash right in the last corner of the race uh, that took a couple guys out. I don't think anybody from our race in particular got too injured, um, but it was pretty hectic with all the kind of groups mixed in and all of the riders uh, of varying levels in that group. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm a little rusty on the commentary, a little rusty at racing, obviously. Hopefully things get better. We've got a bunch more coming up for this summer. So if you like this, click the like button. If you want to see more from me, go ahead and click subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.